every Monday night. We'd like to say that, in our opinion, it is not suitable for children. Every Monday night. Or for those of you who may have a nervous disposition. Every Monday night. And every Monday night. Then we have a super sound DJ. Sean Cook. Good people, it is my pleasure to present to you... Sean Cook. The one and only... Sean Cook. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Hello, 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 Hello. Hello. Now that wouldn't yes. be that wouldn't be the lovely Carol Harrison on the other end of my uh, telephone there, would it, by any chance? Well, it is Carol Harrison. I don't know about lovely. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to argue with you now because <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> Hello, Carol. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. I'm really good. Good to hear from you. <laughs> and yourself, because obviously we tried on your mobile. Poor, yeah. absolutely poor. Yeah. I mean. You yeah. know, you think you've got a, a mobile phone provider, being that, you know, you're a star of EastEnders back in the day. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, provide me with signal. <laughs> Absolutely. Come on, EastEnders, sort it out. <laughs> there we go. Now, you were Louise in EastEnders back in 1998 till 1999, approximately. Mm. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was sort of late. 99, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. I remember you in it. You, you... <laughs> a lot longer, but it was. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, you were in 94 episodes, according to uh, my website, anyway. So, uh, and you were a terrible mother in that. That's all I can remember you by, you know. <laughs> <It's> only... <laughs> well, it was, yeah, there, I just had a lot of. Um... Had a lot to go through. <laughs> yeah. Let's See, put it that way. It's a sign of a good actor. It's a good a sign of a good actor when we remember you for the poor things uh, that yeah. you acted out. Yeah. Now, you're also, now I didn't know this, and we spoke just very briefly before we opened the mics, that you were actually in Quadrophenia. Yes, I was in Quadrophenia. Now, I've got you down here, which you've just basically gone, that's rubbish. I've got you down as a biker girl. Yes, absolute rubbish. Why have they put you in as a biker girl? You know, these things are sort of put out there. I mean, there's Wikipedia, so they say that I'm a Millwall supporter or something on Quadrophenia. (laughs) (laughs) On Wikipedia, I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which is not true. I'm a a hammer girl, obviously. That's where I was brought up. Um, Yeah, yeah, no, but the the story of that is that um, actually I was was in a play at the time at the National Theatre. because it's like 40 years ago nearly now. I know, next, um, next And I was year, in a very year. famous play called Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller. Oh, right. Which is wonderful, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, and actually worked with Arthur Miller. Um, but obviously, Quadrophenia was being made, and I, what, I had to be in it because... You know, I was a mod. I knew them. You know, <laughs> my cousins were mod. I knew Steve Marriott. You know, it was like I wanted to. I really needed to be in this. And actually, my brother-in-law's brother produced it. So I. Well, you said, sort of had to be really be rude, otherwise, wouldn't you? Well, it, well, it just would be horrible for me because of the, you know this iconic mod film that I was never in. So actually, I had one day that. Um, I wasn't in the show that we had. A, in, we were in repertoire and another yeah. show was in there. And so I had one day to do some filming and I went in to do a part in Quadrophenia. Yeah. Um, and um, I went into the to the makeup and the, and the girls not knowing that actually I, I knew the producer even went, oh, well, you know, uh, yeah. Well, you could actually be a rocker. And I went, no, I'm not being a rocker. No, you're having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> No, because we haven't got many rockers. You could be a rocker. I went, no, I'm not being a rocker. No, you're not. I'm not doing it if I'm going to be a rocker. <laughs> <laughs> and they went, oh. <laughs> you know, they were sort of, thought, this is a strange reaction. But obviously, didn't know how passionate I was about mods. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I protested and said, I'm not, I am not going to be a rocker. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. Because oh. um, they, they said, oh, we can make her look like a rocker, you know, the, the part. And, it, and um, I said, no. But, I mean, I've played all sorts of things really terrible, you know. Well, I, I was going to go with the... Uh... I wasn't going to be a rocker. No, absolutely not. I mean, in The Elephant Man, you played something else. We're not going to go with that one. Oh, and yeah. You, well, and you wasn't The Elephant yeah. Man. That's all I'm going to say I there. Played, uh, I've played lots of tarts and lots <laughs> of history. But actually, yeah, that was the one thing I said I'm not going to do. So, um, and, and actually, I'm the girl in the, um, 
in the record shop for aficionados of the film. Oh, I'm the girl in the record shop. There and, we um, are. Yeah, I've got really dark hair because I was in the death of a salesman. My hair was like dark red because yeah. it was like set in the 40s. So, yeah, it, you, you probably wouldn't even recognise me from it. But, uh, I'm sure but there are a few people out there going... film that's about mods. Being... I bet you people have gone through it frame by frame and said, right, that's so-and-so, <laughs> that's who that is, that's so-and-so, yeah. and that's somebody else. And, uh, yeah, you have got people that do that. I mean, I've just seen the film yeah. so many times, I probably know it frame by frame, to be honest with you. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. But that took me by surprise, to be honest with you, Carol. Now, <laughs> one other thing I'm going to do now, OK, we're going to have a, a, just a short one minute and seven second break while I play this. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to the Alexandra Palace. It's New Year's Eve, 1968. The year the dream was all broken. Why did I throw it away that night, just like that? Well, maybe I was yearning for the deeper mystery. <laughs> or maybe I'm just an unpredictable little f- 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 fella. Steve! Oh, Jesus. In case you hadn't guessed, that's my mother, Kay. It was you, wasn't it, Stephen? You set the bloody school on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. That was absolutely brilliant. Uh, that, if well, you didn't I know, know that. <laughs> I have no idea who that was. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Not the male voice. Uh, Kay, was Some it? Some horrible woman, yeah. That horrible woman. Uh, uh, Stevie, Stevie Merritt's mum, yeah. Oh, uh, that is Which absolutely played, brilliant. Fact, but I actually wrote all the dialogue as well. I wrote the whole show, so yeah. So it's no excuse for the, not knowing your lines then? <laughs> well, yeah, but I had so many hats on in that sometimes. That was the last thing I thought about, my own my own lines, because uh, I was directing it as well. <laughs> so, uh, so all or nothing, the mod musical, you were down in Brighton. I saw you uh, on that wet and windy day where the wind was blowing in sideways and, of course, bringing the rain in with it. Oh, it was yeah. absolutely diabolical weather, Wasn't but sure. we caught up, didn't we, and uh, had a nice uh, chinwag and stuff. So we thought we'd get you on the radio this evening just to, just to really catch up and everything. But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you were in... I'm going to be down there next Sunday, actually, as well. Um, oh. On, the, on that. And let's hope it's not so windy and rainy. <laughs> be on the drive um, on Sunday because um, I'm presenting the best in show for the scooter. Um, it's the Ace Cafe um, reunion. Oh, you're so right. they've got a ride out from the Ace Cafe in London down down to uh, down to us on Madeira Drive, and um, fantastic. And I'm presenting the prizes. So uh, and also there'll be um, I think some. Some of the stars from All or Nothing I've asked to come down, so hopefully they'll be there and can sign some stuff and we'll have a bit of merchandise and the scooters, the oh, scooter yes. from the show. Um, oh, yes. I've uh, sat on that uh, many times. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Lovely selfies on that. Oh. So, um, yeah, we're going to be there all day on Sunday. So, Brilliant. And then, uh, yeah. So, so what have you got planned now then? Yeah. I mean, of course, of course, obviously you're going down to Brighton uh, this weekend. Uh, so all you Carol Harrison fans, if you want to come down and say hi, you're more than welcome. Maybe get a selfie with Carol rather than the scooter for this time round. <laughs> you know, um, what well, the scooter can come second this time. Hey, how about that? <laughs> That's nice. Oh yeah, absolutely. But the lovely Carol Harrison uh, did star in All or Nothing, the mod musical. And uh, how do you think that went then? Well, it was amazing, actually. Yeah. It was a, my passion project for me. You know, I worked so hard to get it on. And we actually toured it for two yeah. years. We started in London, toured it around the country. Yes. And ended up in the West End for a... Uh, you can't a, get much a, better than limited that. run, and then we transferred. So we were there 13 weeks, which was pretty amazing. And we only just finished at the end of May. Absolutely. So it's been amazing. And... Um, and we had wonderful audiences that came back time and time and time again. You yes, know? indeed. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people were, because you know, I'll come down to Southampton to watch it myself and my wife. And uh, my wife's not really into the mod side of things. I mean, she likes some of the music, but she came out of that and she said, that was fantastic. You don't have to be a mod to enjoy it. That is no. one thing she did say about it. So would you say yeah. that as well? Yeah, yeah, you don't have to be a mod. You don't have to, you don't have to know anything about the small faces or... You know, I mean, even the time, because it, you, you get a complete flavour of being there and, and of feeling feeling you're part of it and sure. feeling, you know, and joining in, really. So, yeah, and it's like a, a play should do. Uh, but 
which is like make you laugh, make you cry and move you. And um, But it's also like being at a live gig because everything is played live. Absolutely. And the band are absolutely amazing, our, our incredible cast. Oh, yeah, really absolutely. Really talented and beautiful dancers and everything, you know, so you get the whole experience. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, you don't have to know, you don't have to be into that music or anything to, to enjoy it, you know. I mean, obviously, people who are, it's like bringing it all back for them. And But uh, lots of young young people have come to see the show and love it. Yeah, have come yeah. back time and time again, you know, so who, who weren't around in the 60s, certainly, you know, so... Um, <clears throat> yes, me. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying nothing. No, you're young. No, I'm not saying a word, Carol. <laughs> now, we were hoping uh, to uh, have some... Other news as well, but obviously we can't do that at the moment because we're running slightly behind uh, a schedule there, or a schedule depending right. on what side of the water you're from. Uh, so mm-hmm. what I thought we'd try and do, maybe catch up in a couple of weeks' time. Um, yeah, that'd be fantastic. And then yeah. what we can do then, obviously, once we've got everything, you know, the I's, the I's dotted and the T's mm. crossed and things like that, you know where I'm saying with this, uh, then yeah. maybe we can uh, have that discussion one more time. But for now, yeah. I want to give you a big, big round of applause. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for uh, having me on the show. Hey, no I'm problems doing... at all. And obviously yeah. all of our guests uh, are, are treated exactly the same way with a good big round of applause there. And uh, personally, I'm going to play something from the mod musical All or Nothing. And I thought we'd play uh, right. track 10 on the album. And the album yeah, that's is our cast album. Yeah, our cast oh, album. I know, yeah. it's great. <laughs> and it is unsigned as such. Uh, so we can play that on our radio station. No problems at all. And this yeah. one is called Sha La 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 Lee. Um, do you know yeah. anything about the actual song itself, though? Oh, I know a lot. I know a lot about the song. I know a lot about all of it. <laughs> I know you do. That's um, what I wanted to was, ask you. Yeah, the song was written by um, Kenny Lynch yes. and Walt Schumann. Kenny Lynch was an, uh, also an actor and singer from the 60s as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, it was... Uh, Don Arden really didn't want the boys to write their own music, and they he introduced them to this song, and they really didn't like it actually <laughs> it was their least favorite song um but um you know they gave it their own special take and uh you know it's ended up a great pop song and they although they didn't want to record it in this instant don don arden was right because it, it, it was a big hit absolutely know? so uh which their last the the, the, the first track really was uh, what you're going to do about it then the next one wasn't and then this one was a big hit again and introduced them to a lot of other people so you mm, know mm. he wasn't all bad no absolutely <laughs> and, uh, you know and Kenny Lynch is a great guy and I know him as well so um um, well done to him for, for writing it but, absolutely uh, yeah, I have to say is their least favourite song but a lot of people love it you know? yeah so, and that's what we're so. going to try and do is uh, persuade people to love the small faces I think most people do actually yeah. because there's a, a song that the small faces have done that sort of uh, gets to somebody which is really really yeah. nice and you know yeah. for me Lazy Sunday is uh, a comical one but I love it it's just so London isn't it you know it's just got that London no, accent and so everything else to it and, yeah yeah you know, yeah. that's what I love about it as well. So for now, we're going to play from the cast of All or Nothing, the mod musical. We're going to play track 10, which is the Sha La 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 Lee. Uh, for now, then, Carol Harrison, thank you very much indeed. We'll catch up in a couple of uh, weeks' time. Yeah, and come and see me on Sunday. <laughs> if I get a chance, so I will fine. come down and say hi. <laughs> it, oh, depends on what, it depends on what the wife is telling me to do. I mean, uh, what we need <laughs> to be doing. Yes, you know where I'm going with that. <laughs> okay, one more time then for Carol Harrison. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, Here we go. Okay, bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.